Hey guys, welcome back. Now, uh, in the previous video, we, we, we created this uh, app uh, up to this point where we can be able to access the home page when the user logs in. Uh, the user can be able to log out here and they can be able to log in again. Um, pretty simple, straightforward. And if they don't have an account, they can be able to create an account, which is a code we haven't created yet. So we want when the user can click create account, they are taken to the register activity that we created earlier. So that's very simple, and we're going to do that right now. And we want to listen to the create account activity, and that is in the login activity. So this is where the create, this is where this, it's in the login activity. This is where the create account is. So we'll go to the login activity, and we call it here, and create button, and we defined it here as well. So we're going to listen to the click of this button. And we can just do it directly above right here. And we can say, uh, listen to create account button click. So we're going to say M create account button click dot set on click listener. And then we're going to say on click listener. And we're going to get that override. Uh, and then we're going to say when when it's clicked, we want to take user to register. So we're going to say intent uh, take user to register equals to new intent and the intent is we're coming from this uh, login activity that this and we're heading to register activity that class and here it will say um, start activity and then take user to register and that's pretty much what we need to do and we should be able to so let's try this create an account and we take into the register so that's pretty cool now now let's let's now kind of lay out our app how we want our app to work so we want our app to work in in in, in an order where uh, when a user uh, when a user is not logged in uh, and opens the app they'll be taken to the login screen and if they don't have an account they can create an account so let's uh, log in here so we have logged in so let's try to open the app again after a while we're taking back straight to the home page you're not taking to the login page because the app now remembers that we are logged in so we want to implement this feature and it's really simple we will now say um, We'll now head to the manifest first of all to arrange the launcher act the launcher activity to be the home page because we want our users to anytime they open the app to be able to access the home page and if they don't have access to it they will take into the uh, login uh, i believe that's a clear explanation and then now we'll change this to login activity and i'll call this i'll change get rid of this and this is now the home page and the login activity is login I just write label there. Don't worry about um, strings right now. But that's uh, something that people need to really implement in their apps. So right now we have it set up as a home page, the launcher, and they're all set. So if I click run, which I believe I can from the mm, manifest XML. I don't know if it works in, yeah, it should. So, and now I'm, I'm able to access the uh, home page. So, let's check if, if I'm logged in. Called, so, um, Uh, what is the current user? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the wrong place. Current user. So parse user. 
So it could be, so if the, you, if you want to check if the current user is uh, logged in, you can use this part. If the current user is not now, then do stuff with the user. If it's now, show sign up or login screen. So this is what the code that we're looking for. And we'll just paste it here. Pass current user. If current user is not allowed, so do stuff with the user. This is where we'll be doing stuff with the user. Else, if the user is not logged in, we'll take the user to the login screen via an intent. Take user to login. Equals to new intent. And I'm going to call this homepage activity that. Um, I can just say this and we are going to log in activity dot class and then start activity and then take the user to log in. So that should do it. So let's see if so we are currently logged in. So we are logged in right now. So this should we should stay here. So let's try to log out and try to launch the app again. Because remember, in the manifest, we say the homepage activity is very should, should launch. So it should definitely take us to homepage anytime we're launching. But since you're not logged in, like we're checking here, let's see. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but let me just relaunch it. But we are taken straight to the home page. So it's kind of taking us to the home, I mean, it's a login screen. So it's kind of taking us to the home page first, and then it's checking, oh, we're not logged in, and then it takes us back to the login screen. So let me log in, and then we check. So I say Ronnie, and then Ronnie, and I'll log in. And then I'm logged in, and then when I close the app, and then open the app again, no, not this app, live update. I take it to the home page straight. And if I log out and open it again, take it to the login screen. So you check into the home page and straight to the login because you're not logged in, because it's checking. So now that is how we do it. So in here is where we're going to be doing stuff as far as um, so if the current user is logged in, now we're going to uh, show user the home page. And yeah, sure they use the home page. So once they see once they are able to access the home page, of course, they're able to update status, they're able to log out again because they're current users. So in the next video, we'll be uh, now looking about how to create our home page uh, into um, like to have a list view. We'll be talking about list views and how we're going and custom adapters and uh, uh, cool stuff. So see you in the next video.